Right, before we look at trying to answer this question here, which uses differentiation, we need to make sure that you're able to differentiate these basic functions down here. The formula, which isn't given, is y is equal to x to the power of n becomes dy dx equals nx to the n minus 1. In other words, you multiply by the power, take 1 off the power. So for this one here, the power is 4, so we multiply by the power, so that's 4x, 1 off the power, 3. Same idea for the next one, multiply by the power, so 3 times 2 is 6, x, take 1 off the power, 2. With things like 5 to the power of x, these are slightly more difficult um, because it isn't obvious what the power is. Well, you could put a 1 there, because x is x to the power of 1. So you do 1 times 5 is 5, x to the power of 1 take away 1 is 0. But x to the power of 0 is 1, anything to the power of 0 is 1, and 5 times 1 is 5. So, in general, if you've got something with just an x in it, it differentiates to give the coefficient. So 10x differentiates to 10, 3x to 3, minus 6x to minus 6. Something like 8, well, to do that one, we have to rewrite it slightly. 8x to the power of 0, remember? x to the power of 0 is 1, 8 times 1 is 8. Multiply by the power, nothing times 8 is nothing. Well, nothing times anything is nothing. So differential of a number is just going to be 0 every time. So differential of 10 is nothing. Differential of minus 9, nothing. To differentiate something like square root of x, again, we need to rewrite it, remembering that square root is to the power of a half. So we've got the new the power is a half, so we do a half x, take 1 off the power, 1 off a half minus a half. Similar idea for 1 over x cubed. We need to rewrite that as x to the power of something. In this case, because it's 1 over, it's to the minus 3. So multiply by the power, so minus 3x, take 1 off the power, minus 4. So that's how you differentiate all those things. And there's always a couple of marks just for doing that. Applying it to a question like this. Okay, find A, the turning point. This is the turning point. Well, at the turning point there, the gradient is equal to 0. So if I can find dy dx, make it equal to 0, I've got what I want. Looking at my function here, if y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 6, if I differentiate that, I get the following. dy dx is equal to times by the power, 4x, 1 off the power, 1. Don't really need to put that one there, but we will. Differential of anything with just an x in is this, minus 4. Differential of just a number is 0. So my differential is 4x minus 4. Get rid of that power of 1 because it's not necessary. At the turning point, dy dx is nothing. So we make 4x minus 4 equal nothing. Add 4 to both sides gives us 4x is equal to 4, divide both sides by 4, and we get x is equal to 1. To get the y-coordinate, we put the 1 back into the original equation, so y is equal to 2 times by 1 squared, minus 4 times 1, plus 6. You shouldn't really need to put it in your calculator, but you can if you want, so 2 times by 1 squared, minus 4 times by 1, uh, plus 6. You might say you don't really need the brackets. Well, you don't. I'm just putting it there because when there's negative numbers, it's a good idea to do that. And we get y is equal to 4. So the coordinate is x is 1, y is 4. Okay, All right. so find the equation of the tangent to the curve at b minus 112. Well, there's b minus 112 there. The tangent is going to look like this. Now, this dy dx thing here gives us the gradient anywhere on the curve. If I'm going to find the equation of this line, then I'm going to need the gradient. So what I do is I put my x value into this equation. So my gradient, m, is going to be equal to 4 times by whatever x is, in this case minus 1, minus 4. And if I work that out, I get m is equal to minus 8. So my equation so far is y is equal to minus 8x plus c. To find my plus c, I'm going to use my minus 1, 12 uh, in the equation here. So we're going to say that y is 12 is equal to minus 8 times by x, which is minus 1 plus c. So 12 is equal to minus 8 times minus 1 is 8 plus c. Take 8 from both sides, and we end up with 4 is equal to c. So that goes in there. So my equation is y is minus 8x plus 4. The more observant of you will have noticed that that really shouldn't be 4 there. It should be 6.